Authorities continue to interview the 12 girls rescued from a house in Feasterville, Bucks County last week. Police say one of the girls was gifted to Lee Kaplan by her own parents. Kaplan faces a list of charges, including sexual assault. Now, the parents and Kaplan are all being held on $1 million bail. Eyewitness News reporter Alexander Hoff traveled to Lancaster County to learn more about the parents. Alex? Coming to an Amish community like this looking for answers is not easy, especially when there's a camera involved. But it seems that Daniel and Sevilla Stoltzfus parted ways with the church many years ago. Just around the same time, they met a man named Lee Kaplan. The Stoltzfuses told police that of the 12 girls found inside of 51-year-old Lee Kaplan's Bucks County home, 10 are their daughters and two their granddaughters, born to the eldest who the couple admits gifting to Kaplan when she was just 14 years old. But those are not their only children. At a family property near Quarryville, Lancaster County, I spoke with a polite yet extremely skittish 19-year-old who said he's their son. He was only able to tell me that the situation has been hard, his sisters were well cared for, and that his dad, Daniel, is, quote, a good dad. The Stoltzfuses had another son, a toddler who was killed in May of 2001 in a farming accident. Enter very dark times. Five months later, the couple borrowed $300,000 from the old Amish helping fund, a loan for their metal business that was essentially revoked due to allegations of child abuse that police then later found no evidence of, and a relationship with a non Amish man named Lee Kaplan. In 2003, the couple left the church and in 2012 gave their eldest daughter to Kaplan, telling police it was a gift for helping them out of financial ruin. At the Kirkwood property, a woman said to be Daniel's mother arrived. Very distraught and very upset. A non-Amish friend told us the family has not had contact with the 12 girls. Police say they are in protective custody being questioned. All three adults have been charged. Police are still investigating whether any of the other girls may have been abused. Reporting in Lancaster County, Alexandria Hoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News.